This is Tony Poulos on location at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. Today I'm meeting with Ramez Yunan, who is the CEO of Auger Systems, a real-time charging and billing company. Ramez, congratulations on your new appointment as CEO of Auger Systems. Um, what brought you to this role? This is the strongest product in the market when you look at online charging and billing. And that's where the industry is heading. And it's also the commitment of its shareholders, the employees, their competence. It was not a brainer uh, to actually uh, go for this job. What are the key products that Auger Systems offers? So we have a wide range of products, but we are very, very focused on the online charging uh, and rating, uh, but also we have the voucher management uh, products, as well as uh, all the network enabler uh, connections. Uh, so we have multiple suites, and we uh, operational, operationalize our uh, suite into uh, the customer environment as and when and how we see their products and services they provide. What's all the fuss about charging at the moment? Are operators looking at changing out their existing billing systems and IMs? And where does Auger fit? That's a very good question, Tony. I think that the, 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 the key area here is not just replacement. I think this is not what we are after, is in replacing a billing with a system with another billing system or a rating with another rating. The key area here is that the, the, the industry is changing. We have now 4.6 billion out of 5.6 billion. So nearly everybody other than children have mobiles now. So the growth of the industry is not going to be through addition of subscribers. It's going to be through addition of connections, machine to machine, in cars, healthcare, utilities, and so on. So the reality is that it's changing from one of those recurring charges to actually have more rating. And that is online real-time and not by CDRs collected. So we are very much well positioned coming up from the network side to, to capture that market. What do you see as the biggest challenges facing mobile operators in the next 12 months to two years? I think the next challenge, which is actually right now, and that will not be solved for the next several years, is the network bandwidth. What they will have to have do is to try to differentiate between their, their uh, customer base to prioritize the quality, is to change their business model into more rating. So if you reach a capacity, that capacity has to be prioritized by your rating plan or by your uh, status in terms of a customer volume. And what do you see as the biggest challenges facing Auger Systems in the same time frame? I think the greatest challenge for us is to actually expand in, uh, in uh, multiple territories and be able to be in the right place at the right time and to help our operators be successful. Having said that, I think it's a lot of partnerships are, need to be put in place to enable that expansion between uh, uh, our company and market penetration. Uh, if I try and do this in 200 countries as any, uh, any of the other companies, that will take time. Ramesh Yunan, thank you for spending time with us today. Tony, it's a pleasure to be with you. Thank you.